Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln, and today I'm going to show you how to use engraving, masking, and symmetry to make this gear a Nomad Sculpt. Alright, let's grab your iPad and let's get sculpting. Okay, first thing, let's get rid of this spear. We don't need this anymore, so I'll go in here and delete this. Now you may notice this is a little bit different menu now, and these are a little bit different. I'm in Nomad 1.66, so the menus are a little bit different. I'm beta testing it right now. So to add your primitives, just go in here. So we'll add a cylinder in. And we're going to bring the um, topology up quite a bit because we're going to extract this um, or engrave it. So we need that a little bit, a little bit higher geometry. So we'll go ahead and validate it so we can sculpt on it. Squeeze it down. And we're going to squeeze it down pretty thin. And you see here, I got it pretty thin on purpose. And that, the reason being is the extract things in here work way better. Uh, let's drop this down. I'm going to show you one other thing. So this is another thing in here. You'll see we have the X and the Z axis in here with the red and the blue. It's kind of nice. That was always white before. So we're going to slide this down so it's easier to hit our center point. And you could have you always used the white one before, but at least this way, you know, if you move your object around, you want to move it to the origin center, world center, you know it's there now that you're in the those crosshairs. So now that we have this in here, I'm going to tap on the top for focus. And we're going to go in and select mask this, but we're going to check something real quick and show you. So you want to make sure that your ellipse is on circle and it's centered. Because if it's not clicked on centered, oops, if you don't have that clicked on circle, you'll see it, it does this weird thing and it's a little harder to control. If we click on here and we put it on centered, then it's a circle. And then also if you don't have it on an ellipse, it's or if it's on a ellipse instead of centered, it's gonna do that number two. So we want it circle and centered. Nope. So there's different options for that. If you click inside and outside, you can invert your mask. There you go. So you see this here, we don't want that. So we'll we'll keep doing this till we get what a clean one. It may take a couple tries. Because we're not, you're not hitting, if you're not hitting exactly in the center, which is hard to get, it's going to have defects on the outer edge. There we go. Okay. Now the other thing you want to check and make sure is that on the brush icon, front facing vertex only. So since that's unchecked, when we go to look on the backside here, the mask is going to be on both sides what we want so we want to bring in both sides of this okay so we'll go into the select mask and we're going to engrave and boss you can extract too but if you engrave and boss you have a few more options with that so we're going to do the gizmo you see here it just engraved two two chunks we've got two pieces there the front and the back we don't want to use those for anything so we can just delete them delete those okay now the reason I did this super thin is because the extract and emboss menus they do much better with a high higher mesh count and a thinner object if it's a thicker object you're gonna have a real jagged line around the edge of this mask and here it's nice now that we've done it this way it's nice and clean so we'll grab the gizmo we'll stretch this up a little bit now you notice it's only stretching because it's masked it's only stretching the outer ring, as you can see here. You can go in or out, either way. But we're going to stretch it out a little bit, and then we'll clear the mask. And now we'll use the gizmo again and make it all thicker at the same time. So you can see there, it's it's nice and clean. There's a nice clean edge. I don't know, I don't know if you've tried to do that extract before, but it can be a real headache if you don't know how to do kind of do the workarounds. All right, we'll go in here. We're going to turn this off so we can see. We'll add in a box. Okay, now here's another thing we're going to do and use the mask tool for. We're going to drop the box topology all the way down to zero. You can see there that there's no subdivisions anymore. It's just a box with vertices and lines right there at the corners. Go ahead and validate that. Click on the top view. Let's see. Let's go to the side and just go ahead and pre-squeeze this down a little bit. The top view select mask now this time we're gonna hit the rectangle select and just mask part of it now you see 
I only masked part of this, that's because of the symmetries on, so we'll turn symmetry off and try this again. There, now you see you have a nice fade across there, and that's exactly what we want. Use the gizmo, now we can shrink this down and turn it into a gear tooth. And it's gonna shrink it all equally because it's mass, so we can't tweak anything else with that really yet. But we'll go to the gizmo and you can see the side there, it looks pretty good, so that's not bad. Okay, and if you were to try and squeeze the whole thing down, you can't. So we'll just go back to the select mask, clear the mask, clear it. Okay, and go back to gizmo and turn. Now you can still squeeze and stretch this a little bit if you want. Or bring it, because we need to bring the whole thing smaller anyway. We'll go do a little bit, bring it over here already. Turn the cylinder back on. Okay, so now we just need to get this where we want it. Okay, so you can see how this is not centered in the world, so we're gonna center that. So we'll click on this, we'll go into the gizmo, and we'll click move origin, and you can see it moves right to the origin point. Okay, so on this, I'm gonna show you how to do this if this thing has already been sculpted on and validated. So we'll click on this, and it's already been validated. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is mirror this. We'll go on the symmetry menu. It's already in the X-plane like, like we want to mirror across. So we'll scoot that in so you can see it. So mirror it across, so right to left. Hit yes, and now we have two. All right, so now we can hit clone. And that needs to be a little bit more. So let's go back, shrink this down just a little bit more. Okay, now we'll mirror that again. There we go. Okay. Now we've already got the sets, the snap set, but you can always change this to whatever. You could change this to 45 if you wanted, but we'll go with 30 because that's that's a pretty good number to rotate to. And it depends on how many you want to do. But now that we have a set selected here, we can clone them. And the snap is set. Grab the green and it snaps to the next one. So clone, clone clone so on okay so now I we have our basic gear set now click on the top click on this guy now we're gonna add we're gonna add the cylinder center to the cylinder here so these we're all just gonna temporarily merge these to get them out of the way and we'll just temporarily join those for now Add a cylinder, squeeze this guy down. That looks pretty good. We're gonna round that a little bit, change it up a little. So bring this down, bring that up to two or three and you see that automatically starts to round it out a little bit. So that looks, that's good. A little bit of a round shape to it. Squeeze it down. We'll go inside what that cylinder would be. Go just a little bit. Okay. Let's squeeze this guy up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty nice. Let's go ahead and cut a hole in the center of that. So that, since we haven't valved it, it doesn't matter. We'll just clone that. Shrink it down, bring it up. bigger let's go ahead and cut that hole so we'll validate that one validate this one you don't have to validate it if we go go and and box will merge these together it'll do it automatically for you but just so you know how to do it so those two okay so you got the we're gonna voxel voxel merge these and that's gonna delete this part so the one cylinder has the eye off the other one has the eye on that you want to keep so when we go to voxel merge, go down here and click keep edges sharp because otherwise this edge right here on the inside of that cylinder is going to get kind of wonky. So hit voxel merge. Oh, and I forgot to combine all those. So let's combine this. Combine these two first. Voxel merge those. Let's increase a little bit. Keep your edges sharp. Merge them. Okay, they're remeshed. Now we can put those two together and voxel merge it so it goes all the way through. 
There it is, all the way. All right, now let's put a keyway in there. We'll add a box. Shrink this guy down. Keywords are usually half of the, half of that key. So it looks about right for the size of the keyway we have. So we'll call that good. And we can go in, turn that one off, turn this one on. Also merge again, make sure that's clicked. Merge them. Keyway. Alright. Now let's give this a little more detail. Let's give let's add a torus in here. Alright, now the cool thing with the torus is you can change this you can you can move everything around over here you can move this here this if you wanted to change you can do do this if you only wanted to add part of the detail to it you can go around pretty cool that's a kind of a new thing and the angle they've changed the degree angle now but we're just going to use these make it a little bit easier to control shrink it down a little more than i wanted right there So you can use either one. You can use this with the gizmo, it doesn't matter. So that's a little, I want, we'll put two on here. So we'll clone that, back to clone. Wait for it to save. Increase that one, so now we got two rings on there. All right, I want that one to be a little, Let's knock them both down just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, last thing, we'll put some holes in there. Validate those, it doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, click on the top. So this, we can just use regular, we can just use regular symmetry and mirror, or symmetry and radial uh, symmetry on here. So we'll add a cylinder, shrink it down, move it up. You get to the point where you like it all right so the first thing you have to do with regular radial symmetry is you have to mirror that's not an option if you don't do that it won't work at all if you have this off you can try to radio it doesn't do anything so click that on and you have to make sure you're not validated for radial symmetry so once you do that see here that's it's always going to go radial on whatever plane you're on so that's the x plane so you want to be on the y plane instead so there, that's six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'll go. Let's go with five. That looks good. Now we can validate those, and we'll cut those out. So same thing. All those cylinders. Turn those off. We'll turn on the main gear body, and voxel merge them again. And there you go finished gear pretty easy to do and it's it's kind of cool once you learn how to do the radial symmetry or the clone snapping um, to go around and make different parts so this kind of shows you two different ways to do things please like and subscribe if this video helped you at all all right i'll see you next time thanks